So after we have our VPS established, we now have a public lin externally available Linux server. So what we want to do is start securing this. So first off, we want to update and upgrade our Debian 10 image. So we can do app get update, which will update all the repositories. And we want to apt get upgrade, which will upgrade all the repositories. This may take a while. So as soon as you type this in, you want to click Y, type in Y for just click through all the prompts. And this may take a while. So I'll see you guys once it's done. Awesome. So it looks like it's successfully downloaded and upgraded. So we can go ahead and type in clear. And we want to start installing some Linux tools. So the first tool we want to download is git. This will come in handy later in the lesson. So we can do apt install git, which will automatically pull down the git to tool from the Linux repository that's hosted online. Awesome. So that was successful with that. Go ahead and click clear and we'll come back to git later, but let's go ahead and start, start setting up our firewall. So first we want to install the firewall. So apt install UFW. By default, we can configure the firewall through um, the, the TXT files inside Linux, but UFW just makes life a lot easier with a simple command prompt. So we can go ahead and click clear and we can type in to start using UFW. We want to do UFW status and we can see it's currently inactive. So we want to enable it. So UFW enable, go ahead and type in Y. And the firewall, it will be active on startup. So we can start configuring it and then we can restart our Linux machine. So first we want to start with UFW default deny incoming, which will block all incoming traffic and close all ports, making it the default secure um, configuration. And then we want to, since we're going to be establishing a web server, we want to do type in UFW allow HTTP. So this is why we want to be using UFW because as soon as we type in any protocol such as HTTP or SSH, it will automatically update the rules based on the default ports that are used by these protocols for IPv4 as well as IPv6. So if we want to check out all our rules, we can do UFW numbered and we can see because HTTP is default port is port 80, we can see port 80 allow from anywhere. So we can also configure source IP addresses as well as destination IP addresses and as well as configure certain ports. So for a certain port, you want to type in UFW allow 443. So 443 is HTTPS, which will allow a secure connection over HTTP. And if you want to go ahead and double check if it worked, UFW numbered, awesome. So just in case we type in or we fat finger uh, a rule that's not supposed to be there, we can go ahead and type in UFW status numbered, which will give a number to every single uh, rule within our firewall. And we can go ahead and type in UFW delete four. And we wanna go ahead and delete that rule. And then we can go ahead and try that one more time. UFW status numbered. And we can see that Port 443 is deleted for IPv6, which is the correct one we want to delete. And if you wanted to delete it uh, entirely, you'd want to delete it bo for both IPv4 as well as IPv6. Thank you.